There's definitely a real chance I could be going home today. Today I was supposed to make you some little duck pancakes, duck orange pancakes, and pancake batter didn't work. With 90 minutes, I would have liked to have made you something, you know, much better than a duck salad, but... Nothing wrong with a duck salad. <laughs> if it's hoping. tasty. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Um, I've been up and down recently. Why so. Um, I started out so well. Um, started really strong out the gate. And I've had a couple of, you know, iffy cooks. But this competition often is about the resilience uh, that it takes to win. So that, that's the question to you. Why, why don't you handle the negative so well? Um, I think... I, in, in life generally, I'm, I'm my own worst critic for sure. I put a lot of pressure on myself and um, there's been nothing negative that you guys have said to me that I haven't already had that plus tenfold in my own head. Right, okay. Jessica, breathe. You said you, you ran out of the gates. I'm telling you now, it's not a sprint, this thing. Yeah. It's a marathon, you gotta pace yourself and you just got to cook delicious food every day. Yeah. Right, get out of here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Chin you. Up. <laughs> I actually don't mind the dish. I agree. And I think that orangey host in your sauce is brilliant. If that works with the duck, that's enough. You don't need the carbs, Matt. Carb-free is the way to go, George. This is what I want to do. I want to take this duck and dip it in that. It absolutely makes me think of duck of l'orange. There's no doubt about it. The freshness of the fresh orange, the jamminess of that sauce with that duck, heaven. The sticky sauce is delicious. Reinvention was what it was all about, and I think she's done that 100%. But when you've told me there's pancakes, I wish she put them up. But duck's cooked well, and that orangey hoisiny sauce is bottle worthy. Let's get the next dish in. My dish looks pretty simple compared to some of the others, and I don't know if I've done enough. What have you cooked for us? Today I have a duck a l'orange hot pot. Matt didn't like the idea of putting potatoes oh, with well, orange. <laughs> is there a great dish with potato and orange together? Maybe you're the first. I hope so. <laughs> I really hope that's true. You're up against some really beautiful dishes that, well, from a, an aesthetic perspective, yeah. look really clever. Yeah. And you give us a hot pot. I always question whether my stuff looks fancy enough. And on the flip side, I struggle with trying to be true to myself and cook the way I instinctively want to. So you're praying for deliciousness? Absolutely. Let's find out. Okay. Thank you, Jackie. Thanks. I would think, you know, in a classic hot pot, the deliciousness tends to come from the fact that you cook the spuds on top of the, the hot pot. So what happens is all the flavour kind of bubbles up into the spuds, goes crispy on the outside. Whereas when I saw her deep fry slices of potato, I would go, mmm. Shall we taste? You know what? I can definitely smell orange. Where's the sauce? full of beautiful, silky, well-balanced sauce. I'd be gentler on the criticism, but it's not. It's it's not a, much sauce. The sauce isn't strong enough. Where's the flavour? Like, it's... I don't like it. The idea of duck and potatoes is fantastic, but orange and potatoes just doesn't work. 
SUV duck with the coriander praline, a grand manier sauce, a cardamom and cauliflower puree and glazed carrots. That is awesome for me. The little crunch from the toffee there. I'm just looking for a bread roll right now to soak up all that juice because it is a beautiful, flavoursome dish. Duck hearts and duck legs with fresh orange gel and fennel. I like the duck hearts. Really soft, beautifully cooked. It was tender. It's a duck breast with braised celery, heart, carrots and an orange sauce. The sauce is sweet, but there's some balance there. Do we get duck? Do we get orange? Oh, my. The consomme tastes like lemon. Uh, it's meant to taste like duck a l'orange when you take a spoonful of that consomme. I'm really worried. Today, I've made a duck, orange and fennel consomme. Clever dish, but I can see some things on there already that I'm like, mm. yeah. you know, have you done enough? I don't think I've nailed it, and I wanted to really badly. What haven't you nailed? Um, the skin on my duck and the consomme. I used lemon juice with the egg whites. And I feel like it's added acidity that I didn't want into the consomme. And I thought if there's a day to push myself, it's today. And I'm really proud of myself that I did something really different. It's just I feel like in that last moment I've done something I shouldn't have to that broth. Well, Georgia, it's only that dish that can save you now. Yeah. Well, taste. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I know what you're looking at, Gary, mm, and that's the, the skin. Bags of fat. Bags of fat, which is it, a problem when you've got something so delicate like a consomme. It's exactly it's what a shame. Saying. Shall we? How's that consomme? Is it clear? I love the idea that she's pushed herself and done something yeah. very different compared to everyone else. And it looked pretty, the pool, you know, it's dramatic, but it's not exactly meeting Good the brief. It's duck all orange, and you get the orange once you've eaten the fennel with the orange in it. But she's made a big mistake by adding that much lemon to the raft. If you're going to make consomme, it's got to be like liquid gold. That's the joy for me of eating consomme. And the duck's too fatty. Let's get the next dish in. Feeling a little uncertain about my dish. The goat's cheese will work beautifully with figs, but I don't know if it's going to work with the duck. Hopefully the duck is cooked perfectly, so that might get me over the line. What have you cooked, Ava? I've cooked a warm duck salad with figs and goat's cheese. We came to your bench a couple of times and went, oh, goat's cheese, figs, duck, does that work? Yeah, Does it work? I think so, yeah. Where's the orange? The orange is in the salad and it's in the jus gras. I was really worried throughout the whole cook about adding too much orange in the dish and making it too sweet, and now I'm really thinking that I've not put enough in at all. Ava, yeah. more taste, thank you. Justine, do you think duck or orange when you look at it? No, and I think that was my main thing, because orange... I can't see it there at the moment. Come on, let's taste. The best thing on the plate is the duck. It's cooked beautifully, skin, fat rendered. That element, Ava has nailed. The rest of it, however, we got lots of problems. The sauce, bitter, thin, not particularly ducky, and there's not one skerrick of orange flavour in there. Very salty. I don't like gravy with salad. And it was the goat's cheese thing for me. I, I like the goat's cheese with the duck, but I want more orange. I feel for a 
because she hasn't had a good day in the kitchen today. 